So come with me today. I'm sharing 15 daily habits that I think work really well. I think they're gonna make your cleaning just a little bit easier. So let's get started. Okay, so my first habit is to have a daily morning routine. And I know you're expecting me to say, make your bed, because that's what everybody says. I'm not saying make your bed. What I'm saying is have a few things that you do each morning that will really set your whole day up for success. What I found is that if I'm feeling productive first thing in the morning, then that productivity just lasts me throughout the day. So I wake up, immediately I brush my teeth, get dressed, go downstairs, have a cup of coffee, I read the news a little bit, and I just kind of start my day off in a very structured way. I find that if you do this, you just start your day off well and get yourself ready for the whole day and you just feel productive right out of the gate. The next habit of tidy people is that they break up their tasks. I am a huge fan of this, so let me explain what I mean. So if I need to clean the stove top, I will just go ahead and I will spray it down liberally and then I will walk away and go do something else and then I will come back to it in a little while and wipe it. Or I might add some toilet bowl cleaner to the toilet before I go to bed and then when I wake up in the morning, I will wipe it out. I also like to do this with laundry. I will put a load of laundry into the washer in the morning and then sometime later in the evening, I will put it over to the dryer. Basically, I'm breaking up tasks throughout the day so that I'm saving my time and saving my energy to get them done. Another thing kind of along the same lines is something that I like to call staging. This is a technique that I have subconsciously used for years so I'm going to try and explain what it is and what I do because it really helps me. So if I'm bringing groceries into the house, instead of putting them all in the same place and pulling everything out, I'll actually put the bags near the cabinets and drawers where those items need to go. So almost like I'm staging those groceries to put them into the cabinet. Another thing I'll do is if I've got things that need to go into the basement, I will put them right in front of the basement door and I will just keep putting things there so that next time when I'm ready to go down into the basement, I can take everything at one time. Or if I've got an early meeting in the morning, I will have a chair and I will put all of my clothing that I need. Right when I wake up, I will put it on the chair in the order that I need. And then when I am about to leave the house, I will also have my bag ready to go with my water bottle, my keys, you know, all of the things that I will need for the day. Essentially, I'm like staging my morning, but I'm doing it the night before. I hope I'm explaining this well, but basically I'm breaking things down into stages, making it easier for you to accomplish that whole task over time. Another habit of tidy people is they make cleanup in every room easy. What I like to do, I simply have a basket in each room that is for clutter, and then once that gets full, I can declutter it. But it's really easy to keep a room tidy if you've got just this one basket that's like a catch-all for things, and you can quickly and easily put things in there. Tidy people never leave a room empty-handed. For me, this is like second nature. I've been doing this for so long. When I'm about to leave a room, I just do a quick scan of the room and then I grab whatever doesn't belong. I have three kids, so there is always something in the room that doesn't belong, so I feel like I'm constantly moving things from room to room, but you get the idea. Okay, laundry. Tidy people have a laundry schedule. Whether you do your laundry once a week, for me, I do it twice a week, just get your laundry on a schedule. Don't let your laundry pile up and run your life. Tidy people make lists. I am a huge fan of lists. I like to write everything down that I need to get done. That way it's not taking up space in my head. And I also love to cross things off. It just helps me feel really productive. Next is that tidy people put away their kitchen appliances and kitchen clutter. When I decluttered my kitchen counter, my life began. I can't tell you, my kitchen is a 100 times cleaner and neater than when we used to have a very cluttered counter. Right now, I no longer allow anything on the counter that we don't use every day. If you're liking this content, go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's free and I do lots of helpful home hacks. Another tip is to clean as you cook. This is something that I learned over the years. I used to cook my dinner, make a whole meal, and the kitchen looked like a bomb went off. Now, I no longer do that. Instead, I am cleaning dishes, I'm putting things away, all while I'm waiting for the next step in the cooking process. Problem solved. Okay, this one is great. Tidy people use cleaning products and cleaning supplies that they love. If you're using products and things that you don't love, don't use them. It will 
it will make it really not fun. If you hate ironing, get a steamer. I've got a steamer that I love. I can link it below. No need to iron if you hate it. If you hate vacuuming, get a robot vacuum. I run mine daily and the house looks great and I don't have to vacuum all the time. Do you hate the smell of your multi-purpose cleaner? Get a new one. Method makes these really good seasonal ones that smell festive. You can check those out. You can make your own. There's lots of options. Don't use something that you hate the smell of. And of course, tidy people keep their cleaning supplies in the rooms where they use them. They keep their kitchen supplies in the kitchen, their bathroom supplies in the kitchen. If you don't have the space and you can't do that, but say you have two floors, keep some cleaning supplies on each floor. That way you're not running around the house looking for your cleaning products. Tidy people also, of course, don't wear shoes in the house. You would be shocked at how much dirt comes in your home from the outdoors. You can keep your house 90% cleaner just by not wearing your shoes inside. Okay, the next daily habit, before you go grocery shopping, do a fridge clean out and inventory. Move old items to the front, then when you get new items, you put them in the back, Give your shelves a nice wipe down, and if you've got anything that's about to expire, put it in the freezer. You can put cheese, sour cream, fruits, vegetables, put it all in the freezer. Tidy people know how long each task takes so that they can do it when they have time. I've timed out a few things for you. Emptying the dishwasher, this is coming in at just under four minutes for me. So knowing that I can heat up my food in the microwave and I will have time while that's going to empty the dishwasher. Starting a load of laundry takes me two minutes. Two minutes to grab the laundry from everybody's room and then start the washing machine. Getting a toilet, one minute if I'm not doing a deep clean. So just figure out how long tasks take you and then you will know and you will just fit them in when you know you've got time. Okay, put a laundry basket in everybody's room. This has been a great tip for our house. It helps to keep everybody's room neater and cleaner. We no longer mix up clean and dirty clothing and it's just a lot easier this way. So those are my tips. I would love to hear your tips below in the comments. Let me know what you do and some daily habits to keep your house neater and tidier. I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.